And here I thought one of my favorite mods from FS17 wasn't coming back. What's going on everybody, DJ Cohab here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we got seven mods for you for all platforms. We have four new and one update for console only. We have one new and it is totally mislabeled online. We'll explain that. Plus PC and Mac, we have one update. Let's check it out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have Fictoberg. This has all of Farming Simulator 19's functions included and is a map that was here in Farming Simulator 17. It was one of my favorite maps and I did a short series on this. I used to do live streams every Sunday for like two or three hours and this was one of the series that I did on those live streams only. This also has mergeable fields, forestry, traffic and pedestrians, mobile train, cows, pigs, sheep and chickens, new buildings, meadows, purchasable fields, naturally, field missions, European style map overall, but it is fictional. You've also got 91 hectares of arable land, 53 fields, 17 meadows, and it is seasons ready. This is such a cool map. I love it. You've got massively undulating terrain from left to right and up to down and all over the place. It's a really, really cool map. If you guys are looking for a FS17 feel, because, well, I mean, I played this on FS17, but it's really, really FS17-y, but I love it. I love it so much. It's just nostalgic. That's all it is. Let's take a look at the overall PDA and see what we get. Well, this is it. What do we get when we start off with? Well, we have field 18 and field 16. You've also got your main farm area here and your cattle area right there. Those are combined. You've also got that 148 and 72,000. These are worker friendly fields and 300,000. Not too terrible there. Can we buy the outside? Yep. $10 million. <laughs> You may want to, if you're going to be doing logging, you're going to, well, other than this area, you're going to have to buy that. So just a heads up there. Otherwise, very, very cool. There you go. What do you get in new farmer mode? Well, we get the new Holland T5. We get a Fint 900. Hey, oh, we're all smashed. Big combine there. Big tipper as well. Medium sized header. Nothing too crazy through there. Uh, cultivator, plow, cultivator, direct drill, planter as well. That's pretty cool. Fertilizer spreader, manure spreader, front and rear mower, tether, wind room, and we've also got a loading wagon. And I mean, check that out. Everything to be doing your uh, animals with. As far as this goes, if I remember correctly, maybe. Yep, main farm is going to be right here right in front of us. This is your cattle area right here. You guys probably used to seeing that farming simulator 17. And then this right here is your main farm area. You got a lot of places for storage and a big, big open area right here. I love this map and I hope you guys do as well. Your next one for all platforms today, we have the modern pigsty. This is a medium sized modern pigsty, but it doesn't show as media or modern or medium online. Just Pigsty. It's gonna hold 200 little baby piggies and they'll take all the normal food. Nothing too crazy through there. We can open up and we can go in here. This is gonna be the pigs area right there. And here you can buy them. Very cool. Manure, a manure system. Yep, manure system is ready. So that is cool. We'll open up here. This is where all your food, water, and straw are going to go. So heads up there and we can open up the other side and we should get, oh yes manure very cool hey i like this it does look very good though doesn't it details incredible next to last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the force t890 coupling trolley pack now this comes with three different pieces first one you're seeing right here is the t890 coupling trolley what this does is it takes basically one three point and turns it into three three point implements 18 meters spread so you could take this and run what is it six meters six meter implements should be yep and then you've got a couple options here rim colors we have yellow red white and light green we've also got blue brown and green for your main color so that means that you could take this and convert it now one neat thing is you could see a three-point hitch over here as well so we have a working area there and down here we have the transporting this will transport the 18 meters total uh or 18 miles per hour sorry front to back and then back normal pretty cool huh connection we have standard for harrows back and forth so for the harrows or just standard three point we'll set up we have standard there then we have treaded tires interestingly enough it looks like there's more tread on these standard tires than the treaded tires 
is what it is. Next with this pack is going to be the B435 Cambridge Roller. Now, this has a fertilizer function only. You can see roller can fertilize. Device must be switched on to fertilize. Now, I said six meters, but that was miles per hour, uh, not meters. This is three meters at seven miles per hour. You're going to buy three of these to hook up to the back of your coupling trolley. So there you go. Make color blue, green, and green again. So there you go, 15 horsepower required for each of these. So 90 for the trolley, plus 15 for each of these, 45, 135. I think I got that right. Math for the first time? Ooh. And your last piece for this is the B391 weeder. This is a Harrow weeder function. Uh, must be switched on to fertilize, so it says. Main color, same ones we're used to. 20 horsepower for this, so that's 150 total if you want to run these. And you can add boards on the back, but that is it. And your last new mod today for all platforms is showing up as not a new mod at all, but it is version one, and we did not have these before. So if you guys are curious, this isn't an update in any way, shape, or form. This is a new mod. So let's check it out. Halogen spotlights we've got. Well, spotlights that we can accidentally knock over. That wasn't part of the description. <laughs> So you can place these down, place a couple of them together, and you can turn them on and off, which is kind of neat. However, it doesn't look like they're very bright. Let's uh, set this to uh, almost midnight. Go ahead and cut this on. And it shines a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Also takes away the shadows that you can see in the far distance. Let's try this one, see what we get here. And again, not a whole lot going on. Can we pick this up and take it with us though? Now that is a thing that we can do. So this might be neat for maybe, let's say, working on your vehicle at night or something like that. I'm trying to find like a, a, a good use for these, but nonetheless, kind of neat. And your one update for all platforms today is going to be the multi-liquid tank. This is going to be version 1.2. Now sports all types of liquids, which it did not before. Main color selection, which it did not happen before. Secondary color selection, again, didn't happen before. And selection of stickers. Uh, selection of sticker, rather. Uh, you've also got main color, which doesn't have to be bronze only anymore. You could change this up. You've even got A2 Studios colors in here as well if you want those. Then design color, you can change that up too. Your one new mod for console players today is Valley View Farm. Now, a little bit irritatingly, this is showing as a new mod for all platforms. However, this is not for PC. I downloaded it for PC, uh, which you can do online. And guess what? It doesn't open. I don't even know why that is, but uh, guess what? Valley View Farm, not a PC map. I um, have a hard time figuring this one out. I can't fly around. I don't know where I am. Let's take a look at the PDA, see what you get. There's really not a whole lot that I could do with this, unfortunately. Um, here it is. Here's your PDA for Valley View Farm. Uh, this is from MHMI. You've got a lot of stuff right here. This is what you get when... Uh, you're doing new farmer. We've got quite a few little plots through here, plus the biogas plant that is already owned. That may be a big game changer for a lot of you guys out there. As far as the rest of the fields, what are we looking at? 2. What million? Holy cow. Plus you've got break apart ways here for the different farms as well. Uh, one of the things that I'm also not seeing is the lines in between. So when you go into here, um, there are no lines that show up to where the plots are. So you may just have to guess. One great thing, you could buy all of the land around it for free. <laughs> That's the way it should be. What do we get in new farmer mode? Well, we get a Fent 700, Fent 900, Raw Smash. You also get the pickup, a big bandit, a small Stroutman. You also get a header, plow, cultivator, a cedar, fertilizer spreader, and a liquid fertilizer spreader, mowers, windrow, tether, uh, round baler, which will also do silage bells. That's pretty cool. And it's front loader stuff and all of your animals, as well as a bunch of sheds and houses. You get a whole lot to this. It's a really neat map. I wish I could fly around on it, but um, rip PC players for once, eh? And your last mod today, this is going to be an update for PC and Mac players to the Bigfoot 4x4x4. 
This is going to be changelog version number two. The model's been updated and improved. The textures have been updated and improved. The vehicle now looks wet during rain, except if in a building. Second configuration redone with some sounds. Script has been added to control the RPM when a speed limit is active. Now features 10 interactive controls, opening the windows, turning on the lights, wipers, and starting and stopping the engine. All from the interior with the click of a button. There you go. So big update for the Bigfoot. This is actually Bigfoot 2 now, not just standard Bigfoot. So if you're using it, make sure you update. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Today, Giants release mods about four hours later than usual. I'm already done with Farm Sim News. I'm just waiting to release it until this video is over. So check back very, very soon for that. I'll be said, oh yeah, today's Farm Sim Show Day. We got Pickle, let's go. I'll be said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.